There's no question that Boston Seaport District is one of the hottest neighborhoods and trendiest areas to live right now. The combination of brand new high-rise luxury condo and glass-covered office buildings with the green spaces and waterfront give the area a modern, futuristic look. The area is popular among people of all ages and backgrounds for its nightlife, shopping, and luxury living experiences. However, there are several drawbacks associated with living in the seaport as well. In this video, I will break down the neighborhood's pros and cons and provide footage of the area while discussing the personalities of people who would enjoy living here. My name is Charlie Smith. I'm a Boston real estate agent and advisor specializing in condo buildings, luxury homes, and new construction properties. I help people from all over Massachusetts, the US, and other countries acquire homes for living or investment purposes. If you have any specific questions about this neighborhood or real estate in general, you can find my contact information in the description of this video. To give some basic background, Boston Seaport District, also known as the South Boston Waterfront, was originally an industrial hub dating back to the colonial era when Boston's economy was heavily reliant on maritime trade. The area was home to ports, warehouses, and other maritime businesses that supported the city's shipping district. In the 1990s, the city began a major effort to redevelop the area with a focus on transforming it into a mixed-use neighborhood that would combine residential, commercial, and cultural amenities. The district's old warehouses and factories were converted into office buildings, hotels, and upscale restaurants while new residential developments and public spaces were also constructed. Over the past 15 years, Seaport has completely changed from several hotels and parking lots into the popular area it is today. The development of some of Boston's most notable luxury condo buildings and apartments has given the area an upscale, modern feeling. These buildings include Pier 4, the Echelon Seaport, the St. Regis, and 22 Liberty. The modern contemporary architecture of these buildings give the area a very distinct look. Living in these buildings is the definition of full-service luxury with high-end finishes, excellent views, and top-notch amenities. Pier 4, for example, broke the record when one of the penthouses sold for 4,000 a square foot. The St. Regis is a newly completed development and the only St. Regis in North America. The seaport being the popular trending neighborhood that it is attracts mainly a crowd of young professionals who work in tech, finance, or healthcare industries. According to a 2019 survey by the Boston Planning and Development Agency, over 40% of seaport residents were between the ages of 25 and 34. In addition to young professionals, the seaport district has also seen a growing number of empty nesters and retirees who have downsized from larger homes in the suburbs. The same survey reported that 23% of Seaport residents were over the age of 55. Given its proximity to Boston and Cambridge, home to MIT, Harvard, BU, and Suffolk, the Seaport attracts international students and college students who choose to live off campus. As of 2021, the population of the Seaport District was estimated to be around 4,600 people, up from just a few hundred in the early 2000s. Seaport's nightlife scene has been a major draw for locals and visitors alike with a wide range of options to suit any taste. The Grand and Icon Nightclub are two of the most popular clubs in the area known for their lively atmospheres and celebrity sightings. The Grand is particularly impressive, offering multiple levels of entertainment including a spacious dance floor and exclusive VIP sections. On the other hand, if you prefer a more relaxed vibe, Seaport has plenty of bars and lounges to choose from. The Envoy Rooftop, for example, is a favorite among locals with breathtaking views of Boston Harbor and a selection of creative cocktails and small plates. Drink is another top option known for its intimate setting and extensive selection of wine and spirits. When it comes to fine dining, Seaport has something for every occasion. Ocean Prime is a fine dining establishment that specializes in steak, seafood, and sushi and is perfect for a special night out. Legal Harborside is another popular choice, offering three floors of dining options, including a rooftop bar and lounge with panoramic views of Boston and beyond. For a more casual dining experience, Trillium Garden on the Greenway is a seasonal beer garden featuring locally brewed craft beers and food trucks. Aside from the nightlife and dining options, Seaport offers several other activities for a fun night out with friends. The area is home to several entertainment venues, such as the Laugh Boston Comedy Club, which features local and national comedians. If you're looking for something more interactive, King's Dining and Entertainment is a bowling alley and arcade that offers a fun and lively atmosphere. Seaport Common is another great option with its open lawns and seating areas for events and performances. 
The Lawn on D is another popular spot featuring lawn games, food trucks, and live music throughout the summer months. From high-end fashion boutiques to local specialty shops, the Seaport District has something for every shopper. One of the most predominant shopping centers in the area is the Seaport World Trade Center. This multi-level complex houses an impressive collection of stores, including popular chains like Sephora and Lululemon, and high-end fashion boutiques like Theory. The shops at Liberty Wharf is another shopping center in the Seaport District that features an array of stores. This center offers a mix of local boutiques and well-known brands such as J. Crow and L.L. Bean. For those who prefer street-level shopping, the Seaport District offers plenty of options as well. Seaport Boulevard is lined with shops like Warby Parker and Sweetgreen, while Northern Avenue features stores like Mr. Sid and Filson. Aside from traditional retail stores, the Seaport District also hosts several outdoor markets and pop-up shops throughout the year. These markets feature local vendors and artisans, featuring everything from handmade jewelry to unique home decor items. One of the key features of the area is its thriving innovation hub, which is home to a variety of startups and tech companies. At the heart of Seaport's innovation scene is the Boston Innovation Center, a collaborative workspace and event venue that provides a space for entrepreneurs, startups, and established companies to network, collaborate, and innovate together. The center offers a range of resources and services, including a flexible office space, event and meeting spaces, mentorship programs, and networking events. The Seaport District is home to a diverse array of innovative companies and industries from biotech and healthcare to technology and retail. One of the most predominant companies in the area is Vertex Pharmaceuticals, a biotech company that specializes in developing treatments for life-threatening health issues. Since Vertex's headquarters are located in the Seaport District, the company has been instrumental in driving innovation and growth to the area. Another key industry in the Seaport District is technology with many startups and established companies calling the area home. Akimi Technologies, a cloud services provider, has its global headquarters in the Seaport, while General Electric has established a GE digital headquarters in the area. Other tech companies in the Seaport include PTC, a software company, and LogMeIn, a provider of cloud-based connectivity and collaboration solutions. The Seaport District is also home to a number of retail companies and brands, including the popular online retailer Wayfair, which has its headquarters in the area. Other retail companies in the Seaport include the TJX Companies, which operates TJ Maxx in Marshall Stores, along with Reebok, a well-known athletic footwear and apparel brand. In addition to the companies and industries located in Seaport, the area is also home to a number of innovation-focused events and organizations. The annual Future of Tech Summit brings together entrepreneurs, investors, and industry experts for a day of networking, workshops, and panel discussions, while the MIT Enterprise Forum hosts events and programs focused on innovation and entrepreneurship. The Seaport District's Innovation Hub is a dynamic and exciting ecosystem that attracts a diverse range of companies and industries, driving growth and innovation to the area. Due to this reputation, the area brings in many entrepreneurs, business owners, and employees of these top-rated companies. This gives the area a visionary and creative feeling as some of the smartest minds in the country work and reside here. The growth, development, and popularity of the Seaport do come at a price as the cost of living in the Seaport District is significantly higher than other areas of the city. The median home value in the Seaport District is currently $1.35 million, which is much higher than the median home value in Boston. This translates to a median rent of $3,600 per month for a one-bedroom apartment, which is much greater than the citywide median, $2,300 a month. One of the primary factors driving up the cost of living in the Seaport District is the high demand for housing and limited supply. As mentioned, the neighborhood over the past decade has completely transformed with luxury high-rise buildings and high-end apartments springing up throughout the area. However, despite this increase in construction, the demand for housing in the Seaport District continues to outstrip supply, driving up prices for both renters and buyers. Being not only a popular neighborhood, but also home to some of the largest and most successful tech companies in the world, has led to a large influx of high net worth individuals to the area, further driving up housing prices and the overall cost of living. An important thing to note is according to a 2019 survey by the Boston Planning and Development Agency, the median household income in the Seaport District was $130,000 a year. However, these statistics are based on a small sample size and may not accurately represent the entire population of the neighborhood. Food and utility costs are also significant contributors to the high cost of living in the Seaport District. The cost of groceries and dining out in the area is considerably higher than other neighborhoods in Boston. 
The utility costs in the seaport are also relatively high due to the modern amenities provided by the new developments. Grocery prices in the seaport are higher than the national average. This is because the majority of grocery stores in the seaport are on the higher end and the cost for rent for retailers is very high because of the area's popularity, hence causing groceries to cost more. Dining out in the seaport district can also be quite costly with the average prices for a dinner for two at a mid-range restaurant being around $100. The area does offer several more casual cafes and food trucks, but the majority of restaurants and eateries will no doubt be expensive. While the Seaport District is served by several bus lines, there are limited direct public transportation options. The bus can take a person downtown where they will have to switch to the green, red, or orange line stations to get to their final destination. Driving into Boston from the Seaport is also difficult and residents will face heavy traffic during certain times of the day. However, given the proximity of downtown, Seaport residents could easily walk directly to the middle of the city in under 20 minutes. The Seaport District's location on the waterfront does make it more susceptible to severe weather conditions. The district is located on a peninsula that juts out into Boston Harbor and as a result is exposed to strong winds, high tides, and storm surges. In March of 2018, a nor'easter storm hit Boston, causing flooding and power outages throughout the city, especially in the Seaport District where several businesses and residences were affected. The district's proximity to the water also means that it can be affected by coastal flooding during winter storms. However, efforts have been made to mitigate the effects of storms and rising sea levels in the Seaport District. For example, the Boston Seaport Flood Resilience Project is a multi-year effort to improve the district's resilience to flooding and storm surges. The project includes construction of new flood walls and elevation of roads and sidewalks in vulnerable areas. Additionally, many of the buildings in the Seaport District are designed to withstand severe weather conditions with reinforced roofs and windows, as well as barriers that protect buildings in the case of flooding. This certainly isn't something that should affect someone's decision to live in the Seaport, but it's good to know that occasional storms do have a bigger impact on the district given its proximity to the ocean. Overall, the Seaport District might be the most popular and cutting-edge Boston neighborhood to live in right at this point. With a majority of buildings and the Seaport being virtually brand new, gives the Seaport an energy and vibrancy that is hard to beat. It's not only the buildings, restaurants, clubs, and shops that give Seaport its distinct feeling, but the people who live here who create an innovative and savvy place to reside. If you're looking for a modern and sophisticated neighborhood, Seaport should definitely have a top spot on your list. Whether you're considering the Seaport District for living or investment purposes, it's important to weigh the pros and cons to make an informed decision. If you have any further questions or would like to discuss your specific real estate needs, feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check out my channel for information on Greater Boston, luxury condo buildings, and new construction properties.